In this video, we'll see how a device is prepped for virtual commissioning by creating signals in Process Simulator. So for this example, we're going to take a look at two poses, the home pose and pose one, as part of our series on Process Simulate Essentials. Now you can see in the sequence editor that there are operations associated with getting to each pose. Now we have already set up those operations and we want to create signals that will trigger those operations. This is fundamental as a final step before creating a connection with a PLC and setting up our virtual commission. Here the key step is to link the operations in a linear sequence. This is going to prepare the software to replicate real controls behavior when you connect your, uh, to your external PLC for virtual commissioning. Now the user is going to enter what's called the signal viewer in Process Simulate, and they're looking for two key signals that are going to be associated with each of the two poses that we just set up. Next, they will give names to the signals that describe the operation that's being triggered. In this case, you have back home and two pose one. They open up the simulation panel and you can see the signals now appearing in that panel on the left. Here, the user is changing the branch type of each operation. And they're adding conditions to those operations. And now you can run the simulation and test the signals that were just created. You can see the signal being triggered now being associated with that. Now these are the signals that are going to be triggered by the external PLC once that PLC is connected to the process simulate environment. And we will have another video showing you how to make that connection. Now we want to create some rules and tell the system how to apply those rules to the signal. We're going to use the module viewer in the top right of Process Simulate to do that. So we're setting our result signal and the expression that's associated with that signal. see here when we have the result signal back home, the expression or the called module is not to pose one. And when the result signal is to pose one, the expression or the called module is not back home. So this is a very simple example, but it shows you how to create rules to help govern the signals that you were setting up here. And this is especially important when you go into virtual commissioning. So now that we've set our rules, we can test it all again. And there you see the signal being triggered and moving the positioner to pose one. And now you can see the back home signal being triggered and returning it to the home position. Now this is a very simple example, but you can see how the same governing logic would apply to all of your signal creation here in Process Simulate. So not only have we created signals now, but we have created rules 
governing the expressions or the called modules associated with those signals. Now in this case, we are triggering the two pose one signal, and then you'll see the device automatically returning to the home position when the signal for two position one is turned off. So that is our example of creating signals in Process Simulate by Siemens Technomatics. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for more Process Simulate Essentials videos.